Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. The length of a rectangle is three more than twice the width. The perimeter of the rectangle is 60. What are the dimensions of the rectangle? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, the problem, the length of a rectangle is three more than twice the width. The perimeter is 60. What are the dimensions? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The answer is the following nine by 21. So we don't have any units of measure here like inches or centimeters. So uh, the, uh, the length and width or the width is nine and the length is 21. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you could brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a whiz, a certified professional in the area of solving basic algebra word problems. And that's effectively what uh, this is. This is a very classic, typical type of problem you will see in an algebra course. Now, I suppose there's other ways you can kind of reason through and figure this out. And if you solve this without using algebra, that is fantastic. And notice that I didn't say solve this algebra word problem because I don't want anyone to be intimidated by this word algebra. Oh, no, it's algebra. I can't do this. Well, again, if you figure this out using a different technique, that's fantastic. But uh, I'm going to show you how easy algebra can be or how uh, easy it is to solve a problem like this using algebra. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so first things first. Uh, first, we are dealing with a math word problem. So always use the rule of three, which is read the problem a minimum uh, three times before you start writing anything down on your paper. Now, it's tempting to just read the problem once. You know, may, you might be rushed. Maybe this is on an exam or uh, a test or whatnot, and you kind of want to uh, you want to hurry through the problem. Well, you're setting yourself up for failure if you hurry through uh, a problem like this okay, or any math word problem. So you have to be disciplined. And even though uh, you might understand the problem, read it again because it's going to really kind of sit in your brain a little bit longer. You're going to be able to think of, of uh, possible strategies or other techniques you could use to solve a problem. So again, the rule of three, make sure you understand the question. But after you uh, read the problem, uh, like at least three times, then what you want to do is try to model the situation uh, or visualize it. And of course, this is where math becomes very creative. But here we are dealing with a rectangle. So it's probably a good idea just to sketch out a rectangle and then interpret all these different parts of the problem, uh, maybe visually, right? So the length of this rectangle is three more than twice the width. This part right here could be a little bit confusing. Uh, so certainly, again, you want to read the problem more than one time to make sure you've interpreted uh, the problem correctly. And then, of course, we're going to need to understand what the perimeter of a rectangle means as well. So let's go ahead and just sketch out a lovely little rectangle. And here it is. So here's a rectangle. Now, uh, hopefully you know what a rectangle is, but it is a four-sided polygon where uh, the angles are 90 degrees. Not to give you an over... Uh, overly technical explanation, but this right here would not be a rectangle, right? This is not a rectangle. So, you know, we're talking rectangle, try to draw the best rectangle that you can. But the one thing about rectangles, and this is very important to understand uh, as well, is that the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent. So in other words, this side right here is the same measure as this side. This side is the same measure as this side. Okay, so hopefully all of you out there know that. And uh, let's go ahead and just uh, see what I have here. Okay, so going back to the problem, we have uh, the width and the length. We have information about the length and the width of this rectangle. 
So the length of a rectangle is defined by the width, right? It's three more than twice the width. So let's go ahead and just put a W here to represent the width. And again, the length is defined by the width. So it's three more, and I'll read this one more time, three more than twice the width. And we gotta be very careful here because algebraically, a lot of people can confuse this and make some mistakes. So that's, again, you want to go nice and slow. So let's translate this uh, sentence into a uh, variable or algebraic expression. So the length is three more, okay? So if, um, if I, let's say you have $4 and I give you three more dollars, okay? What do you, how do we interpret that mathematically? Matter of fact, let me change the color here. So you have $4 and I give you three more dollars. So does that mean uh, you have this many dollars? Okay, do we multiply? No, if you have $4 and you have three more dollars, we add three. Okay, so this part of the problem right here, three more means that we have to add three, not multiply three, but multiply th uh, or add three to what? Well, this is three more than twice the width. Okay, so here is the width. Twice the width would be 2w. So the length is three more. Okay, this part right here, three more than twice the width. Okay, so hopefully... This makes sense. Now, this is the first part of, uh, you know, figuring out this problem. The second part is that we have this information right here, which is going to be critical, that the perimeter of this rectangle is 60 units. All right, so what does perimeter mean? Uh, this is very, very easy. Uh, the perimeter of uh, any object is the distance around the object, the sum total. So if we wanted to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle, we would take this side and we would add it to this side and add it to this side and add it to this side. So add up all four sides, we're going to get 60. But remember uh, that I said that a uh, rectangle, the opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so if this is W inches long, for example, well, then this uh, side over here is also W inches long. And over here, this length would also be 2W plus 3 inches long. All right, so hopefully you can kind of see where I'm going here. But let's go ahead and ask ourselves, all right, well, uh, we have, you know, an interpretation of the problem. We understand what the perimeter is. How are we going to figure this out? Well, we have a variable here, okay? We have the width, and then we have the length. We've got this variable L and this uh, other variable W right here. Well, what we need to do is uh, set up an equation. You see, when you use a variable to express an unknown amount, you can't solve for it in algebra unless we can set up an equation. Now, typically, you want to try to set up uh, equations with the least amount of variables uh, needed. Okay, so we have L and we have W. So the length really is 2W plus 3. Okay, so that is the length. So let's just kind of erase this right here because what we want to do is set up one equation with one variable. And that variable, of course, is W. And if we can figure out what W is equal to, if we could solve for W, well, then I can get the width and I can also get the length. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use our knowledge of the perimeter, okay? And in most uh, algebra word problems or math word problems, they give you enough information uh, to solve the problem, okay? In other words, um, if you're not quite sure, reference the problem again, read the problem over and figure out, hey, how can I build a relationship such that I can solve this unknown? Now, I want to kind of caution you, uh, uh, oftentimes, not all the time, but uh, certainly, uh, you know, uh, it's not all that infrequent, you will get an algebra word problem or a math word problem with extraneous information. So you got to be careful. In other words, there's a lot of information in the problem. You don't need this information. They just they throw that in there to kind of confuse you. And I know some of you might be saying, that's so you know wrong. Why do they do that? They should just give me the exact amount. Well, because in the real world, right? Let's say you're actually trying to use math to solve a problem. You're going to be collecting data, you know, trying to collect a lot of different, uh, different information. And some of it is not really applicable, but you have it anyways. So same thing uh, in algebra word problems or math word problems. You just got to use the information you need. And the information we need here to build an equation has to do with the perimeter. Okay. So we know that if we add all four sides up here uh, around this rectangle, 
uh, the answer is going to be 60. It's going to be equal to 60. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we have the width right here. Well, this is the width as well. So how many W's do we have? Well, we have two W's, right? So W here, W here. And then I have 2W plus 3. So this is also 2W plus 3. So how many 2Ws plus 3 do we have? Well, we have 2. Okay, so 2 of these plus 2 of the Ws is equal to the perimeter, which is 60. So let's go ahead and build an equation, and this is what we have. So 2W, so this is two sides of the rectangle, and these are actually uh, both widths, right? And then here are uh, the two lengths, okay? But the total sum of these sides is the perimeter, which is 60. Okay, so this is our equation, and hopefully you're with me. So at this point, it really comes down to your ability to solve this equation for W. This is a basic algebra linear equation. So let's go ahead and take that next step, which, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't stop this lovely math video if I didn't need your support. Okay, I'm asking for your support because I need your support. So I'm definitely not shy to ask. Uh, because, you know, if uh, it's that old adage, you know, you, you've got to be, uh, never be shy, okay? And by the way, too, this is a good tip for some of you that are students. You know, if you have a question, raise your hand. Ask your teacher, uh, you know, let's say on an exam, uh, be like, hey, I don't understand this. What, you know, look for hints and look for help. <laughs> because oftentimes your teacher will help you more than they probably should if you ask. So never, if when in doubt, make sure to ask questions. And for me, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. It's important because I need to reach as many people as possible that are struggling in math. Okay, that's my goal. You know, I've been uh, teaching math for so many years that I'm like, hey, what good is it for me to have all this knowledge in my brain? I'm trying to help people. And the only way I can help people is for our YouTube channel to continue to grow because there's nothing worse in my uh, world than having a student saying, I'm bad at math. I just not smart enough to learn math. That's not true. That is not not true. OK, the reason why people look like this um, in terms of mathematics is they're frustrated because they don't understand. OK, well, if we don't understand, you know, this goes for any topic or subject for for us. Right. Uh, um, all people, if you don't understand something, you're not going to like it. And you're certainly going to feel like you're not smart enough to learn anything. So here is the deal when it comes to math. You can learn math, but there are no shortcuts. OK, so when it comes to, let's say, algebra, for example, you got to really kind of study it from the basics. OK, and uh, don't give up. Right. That's basically what I'm saying. And if you need clear and understandable instruction, well, that's what this channel is all about. So let's move back to the prompt. Thanks for giving me some time. Thanks for being patient for me. I know a lot of you say, boy, hurry up, get to the top. You talk too much. I listen. I get that. But this is the way, uh, you know, I need the support to continue to build my channel. So thanks so much. And let's get back to solving this basic equation. This is not too difficult of an equation to solve if you have, let's say, uh, math skills, even up to, say, pre-algebra. Now, if you don't understand algebra, how to solve linear equations, let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that will explain this process. I'll walk through the complete solution here in a second. But uh, I also have my um, algebra courses. My most popular courses, you'll find links to those in the description as well. So if you really want to learn algebra, you can sign up for my pre-algebra class, my algebra class, or even my math skills rebuilder class. That course is designed for those of you that might want to just kind of go back and relearn all the math that you forgot, or maybe learn math the first time because you never really, you know, duh, you know, understood it in school. Okay, so here we go. We get 2w plus 2 times uh, 2w plus 3 is equal to 60. What do we do first? Well, this part of this equation is a part where we need to use the distributive property. Anytime, anytime you have a number outside of parentheses, we can't do anything here until we distribute this number to these inside terms. So 2 times 2w is 4w. 2 times 3 is 6. So now I have 2w plus 4w plus 6. 2w and 4w, these here are like terms, so we can add the coefficients, which are the numbers in front of the variable. So 2 and 4 is 6. So now we have 6w plus 60, or 6w plus 6 is equal to 60. Okay, so continuing on, what do we need to do? Well, we need to get all our numbers on one side of the equation and all of our variables on the other side of the equation. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Remember, the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you could do the um, uh, 
you could do whatever you want to one side of the equation as long as you do it equally to the other side. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equation, add down in a column manner. So 6w plus nothing is 6w. Positive 6 minus 6 is 0, and 60 minus 6 is 54. Okay, so now we're down to the very last step to solve for w. So we have 6w is equal to 54, so all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation. Again, both sides by 6, and we get 6 divided by 6, which is 1, or 1w, or w. And 54 divided by 6 is 9, so w is equal to 9. Now, one thing you don't want to do as a student is to be, oh, yes, indeed, I am so happy, I am so smart, I'm going to get an A+. Plus. Look at me, I just solved for the variable and then turn your paper in because, unfortunately, uh, that is not going to end well for you. You're going to get points taken off. Uh, you got to make sure you answer the question. So in your excitement, you, you just can't, you know, uh, you know, stop and be like, okay, here, here it is. Well, what was the question? The original question was, what's the dimensions of this rectangle? So you got to go back and use this information. So W is equal to nine. That is the width. Okay, but what is the length? Well, we have to actually calculate that. All right, so the width is nine because W is equal to nine. But remember, the length is two times the width uh, plus three three more than twice the width, so we can just calculate this right here real quick. So if the width is 9, uh, twice the width, or three more than twice the width, is going to be 2 times 9, which of course is 18, plus 3, and of course the answer is 21. All right, so that is the length, and uh, you know, I, I know I get kind of silly with these little pictures and whatnot. I try to make things somewhat lighthearted. I certainly don't want to make this feel like school. You know, kind of like a boring lecture. That's not the point. But anything I um, uh, state, even though I might get a little long-winded, and some of you might say, "Yeah, yeah, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you do get long-winded." But here's the thing: if I could, if if something comes to mind that is of real value that I've seen throughout the decades that have cost students, you know, uh, major points on their exams, tests, impacting their grades, you know, I'm going to uh, state it because, you know, being successful in math is a combination of hard work, good habits, you know, lessons learned, just working smart. You know, there's a lot of kind of things, you know, that come all together. So if you're just trying to learn math as a hobby, you still need to follow the same principles as someone who's learning math as a student, okay, which is focus, practice, hard work, you know, asking questions, and most importantly, make sure you get adequate instruction to know what you're doing. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out, or if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.